Mass Soccer Universe. You saw it in the kind of opening montage. We have been to a game. Um, and first off, I need to thank my bank advisor. The bank is a sponsor of LUSK and here and there they have some free tickets that come our way. And he asked me last Monday, do you want tickets? I said, yeah, I would be nice. Got four for all four of us. Very happy. Uh, was a, a really nice day out. The weather was perfect. Unlike this morning when it's raining again, it was actually really, really warm. So, you know, I used to go to the stadium with shirt and a scarf. The scarf was a little bit much, but fortunately our seats were in the shade and there was a little breeze, so uh, we were not burning. I'll talk about the game in a little bit, but we really, uh, we, I had fun with the kids uh, and my wife. Uh, especially the little one. I mean, she was then sitting most of the time on my lap and whenever there's an attack, you know, people rise up and I have to lift her up and so it hurt twice when they didn't do well, but whenever they, they scored, it was really cute uh, how they were also sales. This is probably my favorite was whenever I got up, uh, the little daughter already rose both arms in, in, in the air just in case because we might not want to miss uh, any, anything. But yeah, uh, it was nice to be in the stadium for a change again. Uh, and that the family enjoys this makes me uh, extra happy. As I said, I'll talk about the game a little bit later. This video will be kind of Austria heavy, uh, namely because I saw most of the Austrian Bundesliga. And I think in the German Bundesliga there were not that many things happening. But also because we had a cup round. And I think what I'm going to say about the game uh, of Lusk is very much conditioned by what the cup round uh, ended, and, and ended up being. I mean, it started out with a, um, you see here, a selection of results. And if you see my stats cast, you already saw these. Uh, the big surprise was that Kapfenberg eliminated Austria on penalties. Uh, for all what's worth for me is I was at last to get an easy win and then Admira potentially going overtime if no penalty should, should have a really demoralizing loss against Rapid and uh, not that being, you know, they played a little bit later and so that they have to travel so that they are tired when they show up at last. Yeah, yeah. It's that bad. I mean, Admira is a team that I always say Lask has to beat. Whenever we do not beat Admira, then there's serious trouble. Because every time we lost to them, um, as far as I can, I mean, this is not my memory, this might not be accurate, but whenever we lose to them, uh, there's a good chance that we get relegated. So uh, this is kind of always my uh, barometer there. The win of Lask over Stripfing was everything. It was a, such a putrid performance of them. Uh, it says 3 nil. It's. I think if this would have ended 1 nil, it would have been more uh, accurate. It's not a stripping, funny name, uh, was so much better or so good. I mean, they, they were defensively well, but they didn't go forward. But Luskin show for, going forward they had so much trouble breaking them down. Uh, the goals came from. Uh, wide shot that the goalie uh, muffled and then in the 88th an own goal and then in stoppage time another one where the goalkeeper didn't look well it was horrible uh, was horrible but at least Admira Vaka played a draw against Rapid so it went to overtime where Rapid and I saw that they actually uh, won it uh, thanks to a penalty uh, and so moving on Lask is now playing the next round against Tirol which is the one that I care about I and mean, we have another Bundesliga tour between Sturm and Ried both should be home wins and the rest is rather easy so let's go to the current round it was a very gold filled round with uh, many many outstanding results it also has to be very clearly said um, I mean, uh, Tirol get a win over it. That was a big one. Uh, uh, Klangfurt 4 0 away to Alta was ev everything but expected. Uh, Hartberg Austria was a crazy game that could have swung either way, even if it would have to. I mean, Austria had a 1 0, a 3 1, and a 4 2 lead. It ended 4 3, and that was a chance. I mean, could have gone bad in one uh, for uh, Hartberg by Austria scoring, scoring a lot of goals on on the other. It was very well in, in the heart. Hartberg also turns this around in the second half. Uh, also needs to be mentioned the Austria Vienna fans cost three breaks because of smoke bombs, which. Uh. Okay, last game. Uh, this was probably the first. The first half was absolutely atrocious. I mean, in the first minute already. A back pass uh, completely going wrong 
and Admira should have scored. They're my favorites. My one, one of my two favorites in both occurred in the first half. And fortunately, all the goals were scored where we were sitting, so that was even nice. Although you basically, uh, it's so tight there that you don't see actually uh, like the last two meters of the field. So it's always uh, when, when someone take take takes a course, it's always a little bit of a guesswork. But you know, uh, it's not a big deal. It, it didn't hamper the enjoyment at all. But in any case, my favorite scene was two Admira players, absolutely, uh, one of them, Kerl Kirschbaum, absolutely free in front of goal. I think it was in eighth or ninth minute. And Kirschbaum takes one touch and a second touch and then stumbles it, stumbles over the ball and can can, can, can make it. With some, a little bit more composure. They're running alone onto Schlager and can make a sure fire for a goal. And this was kind of the first time, yeah, we are not playing well, but maybe we're lucky here. Uh, it did not get better. I mean, there was hardly any chance for Lusk and, and Altmira actually had, I mean, there was a wide shot and so on. And then, you know, they get a penalty, fully deserved, and they get a go with a 1-0 lead into half time. And I was uh, tweeting that this is, it's a scarily bad performance uh, from Lusk. It was absolutely horrendous. The only thing that I could say at the point is, yeah, I'm with my fam family, so we're having fun. Uh, anyway, I mean, the kids, <laughs> they're kids, so I mean, at least that was kind of the, but I did not expect anything. Coming out of the second half, a completely, completely changed performance. Absolutely, uh, it was really, really a well day. Press early on, the ball comes to Goy, going out, passes over to, uh, runs into, into the box, and he finally... God, this was the going out that I, I want to see. Finally, he gets, gets in the box and passes over to Karamoko, who pulls it over the line. Unfortunately, he's also tackled, and again, his knee, and we, at, at, at this moment, I don't know what the result uh, is, but uh, his knee seemed to be badly damaged. He had to take immediately taken off, and I'm afraid that he's again out. He finally played a few games. He's a great player, but he finally played, played a few game, games again, and then he gets again in, injured, and I really, really hope that he can play, because I think other than that, he might as well give up. Then, uh, the game hung at that point in the balance. Uh, there was a great save by Schlager, uh, where Admira, this was, uh, could have scored, but then fortunately we get another corner kick and Horvath, uh, newly acquired, number 30, and that's the fun thing. My two girls have number 30 for the little one, the big one has number 27 on there. Uh, Horvath, after corner kick ball comes to him, he has acres of space and just yanks it in. Wonderful goal, 2-1 Lusk. Uh, Admira once hits the crossbar again, uh, but at that point I think then it was all it, it was clear they they didn't have the strength anymore and Lusk could actually see it out and then going on number twenty seven so the other girl also got makes it three one first home win of the season first win since the first round I mean lots of first and you know first goal scored and and so on first time we score more than one goal in a game so that was also not happening all that much it was. A good afternoon. I'm just afraid that the upcoming two games against Tel Aviv and Salzburg will knock us right back down again. But yeah, at least a win. And uh, if you if uh, if you're waiting for a stats cast to tomorrow, that that win moved us from 11th to sixth because it's so tight. After from between third and 12th at the moment, there are only four points. So it's a really really tight league overall. And because it's so tight. Rapid Vienna losing at home 3-0 to Sturm Graz in a game that was way too high. I mean, this was a super, super, super tight game uh, for about 60, 70 minutes. Um, could have gone either, either, either way, defensive errors, and this is Rapid is a little bit in trouble. Uh, enable Yeboa to score uh, a, a lead in the 38th minute. Then Rapid is pressing and has one, uh, two or three big chances. One by uh, Funtas where he should just put it over, over the line, but he puts it over the bar. And then coming right back from that, uh, Sturm makes it 2-0 through Stankovic in the 71st. And then uh, that decided the game and it ended up 3-0. But I think the... Balance in the game was much, much tighter than what uh, the final result says. It just tells you that Rapid is in a kind of in a negative form. They're now 11th. I mean, I'm inwardly a little bit smiling, although I know that the league is better if Rapid is good. It's good to have Sturm there. I have to say, and I, uh, the goalie of Sturm said this is probably, probably, probably the best match in Austria because of the fans, and I would have to agree because uh, Sturm has... Uh, 
surprisingly big fan block uh, that travels well and also has lots of representation. Vienna Rapid is the most supported team in Austria. So that game is probably at the moment, uh, if you're looking for fan uh, interaction, that's probably the one to watch more than the Vienna Derby. Because they are, uh, you know, it, it's too ugly. Whereas between those, those, those are two, those are really uh, two great fan bases. So, uh, what this also on 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 the Sturm is now a very solid second. I mean, uh, they have I think seven points ahead of third, which is Klagenfurt, and the rest is, uh, as I said, very good to get a Salzburg far ahead. Uh, in Germany, uh, you know, as as as, as I said. I did not really watch all that much. Um, I saw some highlights. Uh, Leverkusen uh, wins thanks to a Wirtz goal. Uh, very nicely taken. Was not an easy. It, it doesn't. It looks uh, not not as great. But if you look at the re re replay, how he does it, it's really we uh, well done. So uh, they move up to second uh, with that win. Uh, Frankfurt again cannot win, but Köln was actually, especially in the first half, a much better team. Uh, only took a lead through Skiri. Then Boré can equalize, and the game was rather even cool. Kugel can either the, the direction with Frankfurt. I think they lost one, and, so, uh, and uh, otherwise they've only had draws so far. You know. Looking, getting some, some, some somewhere. Yes, they had to replace a few people and and some, but uh, it's getting a little uncomfortable in Frankfurt. Um, it was uncomfortable for Leipzig, however, at the moment six 0 over Hertha, uh, utter destruction, uh, and also uh, many. I think it was six different goal scorers. Let's see quickly. Uh, nah. Five different score, uh, score goals because Kunku scored twice. Uh, Paulsen, Mukiele, Forsberg, and uh, Haidara, uh, the other other ones, they just went for it. And Hertha, yeah, Hertha is also one of uh, They are, in a way, a poor man's Manchester United in the sense that they, ha they would have the funds, they cannot get it together, and they just don't get a good coach. There's the. the um, the brain power is missing out of Freddy Bobic, who built Frankfurt, is not there, so maybe there's something coming. But uh, Hertha is one, is the, they call it Chaos Club, Chaos Club in Germany. Gladbach Dortmund was the big game that I actually made the point of watching ahead of Inter Atalanta. Because I said I've watched so much Inter and I, I don't need to watch these guys again. Uh, the game was not good. Uh, it was a midfield struggle. Uh, the goal came through Saxa Zakaria, yes. Uh, I mean, it's a little bit stumbled, but when he was in, it's a nice shot. I think an early goal by Dortmund was taken away. Then um, yellow red for the Hood, uh, who had seen a yellow before. Then he makes a foul and he completely, uh, he immediately complains. And that's that said of the referee. And that basically settled the game. And there was also, you know, um, uh, Holland was missing, Royce was missing. Rose came back, uh, was whistled, but it was not so bad. Uh, I, I, I actually thought it will be much, much, much more hateful. Uh, I forgot that Bayern Munich also won easily three months quite the field, but you know, that's not much to talk about. So, I know it was a little bit longer video, also very Austria heavy, but you know, I was in the stadium again, it was fun, and I had to talk about that. In any case, let me, let me know what you thought about the happenings in Austria and in Germany. Add anything that you would like. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And a little bit later, you get probably one or two more review videos. I have to see how it hard works out, but I want to do this in the morning to get it out of the way. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so that you get updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day!